I don't know if this one's making it to Japan. That's the Japan prep going, mate. Good colour, bud. Colour's pretty mint. Yeah, very. Very mint. Fresh. Minty fresh, like peppermint. Fresh. I think I think the wheels need a bit of a spice, but. Huh? I think the wheels need a bit of a spice. Yeah, I'm kind of want to run those all around. They look all right. Yeah. These Z, kinda, Z wheels. I've had these wheels forever, and yeah. I kind of want to keep them in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair. Yeah, take the Aussie wheels to they're Japan. Not, yeah. Well, they're not I mean, they're either. Japanese, but yes. Yeah, but they're factory stuff. But I don't know. I've just had these for a really long time. They're good specs too, aren't they? No, they've got massive spaces on there. They're not great. Good specs for I a Toyota. Like <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just emotional attachment. They were on multiple AUs. They were. The white one too. But yeah, no. On different fronts. Let's see. Huh? Yeah. Oh, that's not That was not me. <laughs> Active wide body. Look at this size. Secret might be out, but dual caliper. It's here for love. We gotta, we gotta, all oh, right. Fixed it. yesterday, QR, we had a first test day, and things didn't go according to plan. Um, Looks like it's got a lot of camber. Yeah, we didn't get a chance didn't to get... align it properly. I have the upper arms in it, but we didn't adjust them out enough. Okay. Um, oh no. It doesn't go fast enough. Did you bring it to me to put that on? Maybe. <laughs> this is a chat we need to have. <laughs> Dead. Right. Think if I go onto my channel and get AU house up to 10K in a week. Yeah, maybe. We can make this happen. Well, challenge is on. <laughs> Talk about this off camera. <laughs> Alright, well, we might be doing this. So you Overnight Pulsar. parts from Australia. Pulsar, no, they're from the States. They're what? from America. America. That's from America, that's Australia. That's China. Pulsar Turbo. And more China. Yeah, China. Yeah. It's stamped. Brand name China. Yeah. Yeah. Still China. Yeah. That's off my Turbo Less car. Oh, so it'll be fine. It's tested. More than enough powers. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Well, the idea is floating because. <laughs> okay. Just... Well, we're going to work this out in a moment. It, it doesn't rip as much as it should. And NA before, I don't know. This engine just doesn't have the poke that the other one had. It might just have something wrong with it, and you guys will find what's wrong with it and be like, oh, you do care. Well, I'm, I actually, I was saying to Nick before, slightly worried about this second air motor you put in. It just yeah. might be a buff. That's what I'm concerned about. Yeah. Um, but I've got AU doors on it, so it's basically. Oh, yeah, AU. AU. Yeah, it's got the trim. Look, look, windies. Yeah. I converted to windy windows all round. <laughs> the door card. Yes, I hate AU. these door cards. Well, you know I mean, what? it's on, it's on, but. I don't care. It's, it's the trim. Windy windows. Everyone goes the other way. Yeah, Everyone puts BA to... trims on yeah. their AU. I was going to just take the trims off, but. Well, actually. Do they look terrible with the trims off? No. Oh. Uh, well, no, you got holes. Oh. Yeah, holes. But this, more protection for door rubbage. Yeah, I do. I know when I've rubbed people with AUs yeah, and right, yeah. rubs on that yeah. line and doesn't even get the door, it just hits that. Yeah. Which is cool, I think. All right, well, we're going to... Bon event actually looks not bad. I reckon it looks sick, Bon event. I'm very happy with like the colour and the... I, w I was watching the vlog last night of um, Frosty painting it. And I was like, what colour is that? It just looked primer. Look. It's not. There was... Peppermint on special, six dollars a can <laughs> for Rustoleum, and I was like, "That's what colour she's going." I went to all the different uh, Bunnings and bought the last of all their stuff. Oh, so, so you uh, just had enough. No one else is painting their car this colour. Right. <laughs> Probably the only one in Japan. Yeah. If it makes. You know it what's a funny thing? It looks like glow in the dark paint, doesn't it? Yeah, actually, a little bit. Especially once the light starts to go down, you're like, oh, "Is that going to be one of those glow in the dark cars?" But well, I can assure you, it doesn't glow. Glow. It doesn't glow. So. Oh, maybe the rear brakes will, but hard <laughs> part. Front brakes, rear brakes, all the brakes. All right, well, we're going to get into the shop and uh, find out what the heck we're going to do to it. Because I thought it was here for suspension stuff. And make it run there, but... I have that stuff as well. But he wants to find the horsepower side. in three I'm days. I'm thinking, you know, the 350 horsepower range. Just something. I have all that Easy. stuff. But I would happy to negotiate deals with someone to just have a stock turbo setup on this. Mm. So that's something we can chat about. Okay, we'll sort this out. All right, back in the fountain. All right, so I called 
Got Bill, Hooten, Hooten's harnesses, who does absolutely this this thing, he does the electrics and ECU and stuff all for these cars. So I spoke to him because he did some ECU things for it. So run some things. Now basically the issue we're running into currently with Luke's car is uh, something going on with the VCT. So I've pulled off the uh, the top and I've bruh. Bruh, that is not going to work. That would have just pulled off immediately. So look, we're going to, uh, yes, we're going to sort that out and uh, go from there because this is not good. Very bad. So I guess we'll find out. Hopefully it's an easy fix. So we've got Luke's car in the shop, trying to find out what the heck is wrong with this car. The only know what's going on is that obviously we've got to do, we're going to lock it for it. We're fitting some fab house lower arms into it, um, basically dialing in the front. We've got to do a test on it as well before it goes because Luke, by the time you're seeing this, he has already, he's in America. So it's kind of up to me, Frosty, and a couple other people in between all that. Got to do some other bits and bobs running around. So uh, also Shockworks is... Uh, I'm just waiting for some suspension to come out. We're going to change some springs for it and make it better. So, yes, so it's all happening in the shop. So, we're going to find out what the heck's wrong with this car because he's kind of dropped off a whole turbo kit. And uh, the time frame is very small. Obviously, fitting a turbo kit and all that, sweet as, but we've got tune. Then you've got the other problems like the rear diff, doesn't have the upgrade. It's, it's got that. Sorry. It's got that, it's, you just know, B-Series, it's gonna break something. So, he doesn't need a lot of power because he'll make it work, but um, NA is the way to go. So that's what we're focusing on here. So obviously Luke was trying to get to Japan with the Falcon, and he will. But I don't know how long he was gonna drive for because there's just so much things not right. So starting from back, Car had like a vibration. He's like, when you sort the vibration out, it's underpowered. I sorted the uh, the VCT, the VCT issues. So that's sweet. Throwing in the front steering, tail shaft, hectic vibrations. Kind of. This is a start here. This is dry, not good. This should be a whole. There should be a cap there too, but that's that's beside the point right now. Nice shoot. Tough shoot. Center bearing is good, so that's impressive. However, this, so this is a, so it's got a TR6060 slash T56. It's got the big one. The boys have like elongated it, which is all right in a way, but not at the same time, because this is a smaller donut. So, uh, I'm gonna sort that out, but I It wasn't gonna last long, because vibration's one thing, but things and the car falling apart to another. So we have that now. Yeah, I've got to sort this out. It's great, great times. <laughs> but yeah, so, because we need to test this car obviously. So once we sort that out, uh, then we can test it. But yeah, I don't think it was going to be too good. He's going to be driving this around in Japan, this car, with that. No yeah. way. You couldn't even drive the street without shaking your seat off. Okay, so I'm, I'm on the tail shaft situation. That is the old one because it was a non-turbo tail shaft with a turbo tail shaft slash T56 end. And I locally sourced one from a bloke. Do you want to be named? I don't know, Jamie came through with the goods. He was around the corner. So we've got the correct tail shaft. Now, I had an end for there, which is good. This is now too short because I do believe we have a four territory diff in the back. Now, this is too long. So now we're on this point where I've got that. So now it's gotta go in. So yeah, luckily came in here. Funny how I've got this stuff, really random, but anyway, I do. So we're just gonna do that and get that together. Honestly, we should have done an AU loop because we would have had far less problems. We wouldn't have to do any of this. We're just single piece tail shafts, done. Solid axle, easy to do. Intech already in it. 
Turbo, 13 PSI boost, 400 horsepower. Problem? No problem. Mm -hmm. Only problem would be tyres, actually. It'd be the only problem. Um, yeah, you don't have to change the doors. Good out there. I think we should send an AU over there. Same front end for all those uh, Japanese people uh, now probably tuning in uh, and other people who are interested from other countries. The AU has the same front end suspension, uh, shares like the same block. It, there are differences, but you can effectively use the same gearboxes that we're putting into this. You can put behind the uh, the ugly duckling, as I call it. So, yeah, all this fits in. What a top rig! So, it's on the trailer. I'm about to go for a wheel alignment. Still get the power center leg to fix, but currently on the Gold Coast is a public holiday. So I can't get part. So once I'm in Coffs Harbour, that is what I what I've got to do. So I'm gonna take the bits down. I'm gonna do them at the track. So there we go. But um, I'm pretty tired. I finished up about 3 a.m. Uh, so next week's vlog, I'll do a bit of a run through about the stuff underneath the car. But I did effectively put the rear arms in. That's all in. Got to do alignment. So it's pretty good. But I just want to know exactly where we're at so I can work out. And now it's just get some tyres ready. Get the other bits and parts ready and uh, on we go. So that's it there. A few little things. But look, once we come back, we'll be able to work on the cosmetics of things. And uh, possibly the turbo thing. At this point, it's looking very... I know everyone's hanging for... Uh, we've got 10,000 subs. Massive thank you to everyone. I want to try and make it happen. But honestly, the amount of level of things that need to happen to this car. And me like work out what it has what it needs to have this car's going to japan so there is no other falcon in japan and there's no other spares so i need to make sure that every single thing is exactly how it should be because if he does have a situation where he needs something i'm going to have it noted down so i know what to send luke out if he does have that situation happen so uh it's been a process just to calculate all the little issues that are around stuff so Making the arms work properly, making all the steering, making sure what it's touching, what it's hitting, what's the possibilities of this touching. Uh, if he has to change arms to go to stock ones for some reason, if something happens big enough, just so that all those things are calculated so I know, so I can go, all right, what are you doing? Oh, we're gonna put this out, this back in. I know the formula, put these arms in, it'll be sweet. So that is that for this one. Thank you guys. Thank you to everyone. Extra subs, that is amazing. I do have some uh, pretty funny things planned, so yeah, you'll be you'll be laughing pretty soon. But this car is uh, basically ready for a test. A few more things after, uh, and Frosty as well is going to do a couple little things, and we'll get that sorted. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. We're going to uh, do some testing and drifting in the skids.